Thank you for coming out today. The Battle Plan 2012 is a plan that talks about our future and about where we're going to go, what we're going to do in the next four years. Last night we had our first neighborhood meeting uh, of the part of the campaign. We started talking about the future, what we wanted to do, what we wanted to see happen in the future in the city of Huntsville, and all that future is laid on the foundation of the past, the foundation that we set we have set up the last three and a half years and the team that I call Team Huntsville has put together. Uh, we're 111 days away from the August 28th municipal election and today I'd like to talk about our plan to keep Huntsville moving forward. This is not a plan specifically for an election but it's a continuation of what we have been working on for the past three and a half years. Every other week for the next 16 weeks we will highlight specific details of our plans to keep our momentum going and to build on the incredible successes of our first term. These are parts of our visions to improve our city for all our residents. Our plan for moving Huntsville forward will improve areas of every part of our city, north, south, east, and west. The eight areas we're going to focus on are jobs, economic development, fiscal responsibility, reinventing government, roads, education, parks and recreation, and public safety. With jobs, we're going to talk about diversifying our economy by recruiting new businesses to our city. And we've been doing that with our cyber effort, with our energy effort, with our space effort, and with our geospa geospatial effort. We're also going to be working with areas, with the area institutions of higher learning to develop that entrepreneur in the marketplace that can take existing technology and take it into the commercial world. We are also working on funding sources for that, funding sources such as angel investors. We're also working with the Chamber of Commerce to create a citywide job-oriented uh, job creation program that matches underemployed and employed workers with the local businesses. Also, we're promoting existing businesses to help them expand their base and employment in the Huntsville area and work to keep more work local. And their economic development. We've been working to continue to bring more jobs to Huntsville in diverse and new economic areas. We're working to keep our cost of living low. And if you don't realize it, we have one of the lowest costs of living in the United States. We're also built on the momentum of our interactive ideas map and keep recruiting new and requested stores and restaurants in our retail area. Under fiscal responsibility, we plan on continue to balance Huntsville's budget continue to be fiscally conservative government and work to keep our bond rating at the highest level possible. We are the first administration in the city's history to achieve the AAA rating by Standard Poor's and Moody's. Huntsville was the first municipality in the state to receive this rating. There are only 36 communities across the country that have a AAA rating and our rating is better than the United States government. We also want to keep our city reserves at historic levels. Reserves right now are at the highest level they've ever been in Huntsville's history. Reinventing government. Reinventing government is very special. It's an idea of streamlining government. We'll continue to reduce the size of our government workforce and continue to build a leaner, more effective, and responsive government that does more with less. We're going to bring one-stop shopping and permitting for permitting and electronic registration and licensing to our government. And we're also going to grow our wellness and health initiatives for employees that will reduce health care costs. Also, we're working to streamline city hall procedures for business and residences. Under roads, we've had some great successes in roads, but we are still aggressively lobbying the state and federal officials for more funding to start and complete needed roads. We have an 18-minute average commute in the city of Huntsville. And Huntsville today gets back 97 cents for every dollar it sends to Montgomery in highway taxes. Under the previous administration, we received 53 cents on every dollar back. And we're going to continue to work for future roads. And those are the northern bypass overpasses at Lily Flag and Bird Springs and, uh, and projects such as Research Park Boulevard. Education, we're going to continue to work on education. We'll keep working with the Battle Book Club, which has provided 30,000 books to low-income families and to low-income children in this area. We'll continue to support the superintendent and the school board as they work to make our schools the best in states. Under Parks and Recreation, we're going to continue to expand Big Spring Park and aggressively work to expand Huntsville's Greenways plan across all areas of the city. We're going to renovate and update and expand John Hunt Park in the city's core. 
and we're going to explore the feasibility of building urban parks along Memorial Parkway to help improve those areas. And also we're talking about building a new city of Huntsville Park or update existing ones in each district across our city, especially in the western areas. Public safety is one that we have worked on on a constant basis. And we're creating an interactive map that lets our res residents know where crime is happening in our city and work with our incredible neighborhood watch programs, crime stoppers programs, and expanding the neighborhood associations. We've made some tremendous progress over the first term, but our work is not done. Our plan is, is important to improving our city. It's important to keep Huntsville moving forward, and our work will begin at once. Huntsville has not been immune to the national recession, and much of what we've done in the first term has been to secure Huntsville's economic future and build a solid foundation upon which we can continue to grow and prosper. Many of these items will be paid for by an expanding tax base and by continuing to build a leaner, more efficient government and by using a common sense approach to budgeting. The election is about Huntsville's future. It's about opportunities and we're working every day to create. And it's about moving Huntsville forward and it's about a plan that we have to do just that, move Huntsville forward. Thank you for coming out today.